It's the weekend one. It's the weekend one. It's the weekend one. It's the weekend G3, G3, G3. What's going on, my beautiful G3 family? Welcome back to Goddess Guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to Goddess Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lamarian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. So come on, like, share, subscribe, join the G3 family. Listen, if you're all about ascension, growth, elevation, for emotion, then baby, oh, and bring those karmic cycles, then baby. Baby, this is where you need to be. It's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to everybody who was booking, who was donating, keeping the lights on, keeping your sis going, keeping it flowing. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Um, your girl had a Patreon and I give daily guidance. So if you're looking to book, join the Patreon or uh, uh, donate, all of that information is down below. So we're gonna hop right on into this weekend wine, G3. The word that I heard was strategy. The word for this weekend wine is strategy. Somebody is trying to strategize on how, how could they get you locked up? Crazy, right? Your freedom is upsetting. Your freedom is bothering somebody. Your freedom is like, ugh, it's making somebody itch, it's making somebody mad. It's, it's like, it's like, ugh, somebody wants to, ah, they want to just scream because of your freedom. The divine feminine that is with you guys today is Marabai, the saint of true freedom. Oh, I'm not talking to SG. Okay, I'm reading the energy. <laughs> I'm reading the energy. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. G3, I feel like you are on the journey of elevation, growth, okay? Um, healing. You're on a beautiful journey here. And I feel like you understand that it's beautiful now. <laughs> There was a time and point in your life where you was just going through a lot of things and it was not beautiful. You did not understand what was happening. It was, what is this? Okay? You was in survival mode for a long time. Thank you, mother. You were in survival mode for an, a long, long time. And now that you have survived. <laughs> ah, it's, something, it's something here that you survived a certain area or point in your life or time period in your life where some you survived the karmic debt because that's what you was doing that's why it was so detrimental that's why it was like what is this you was paying off karmic debt and breaking generational change you was doing two things at once okay so <laughs> you was going through a lot but now you are no longer in survival mode, G3. Now is something that you're coming, you're coming out of survival mode and you're going into freedom. Or you've already came out of this survival mode and you're in your freedom. But freedom is your fortune. Hmm. On this journey here, the Kundalini is moving upward. Right? You're on an upward journey here, moving through your chakras, healing, balancing, and, and you know, going to the next, right? It's something about getting the keys from hell and having the keys to unlock your heart here. They were telling me that the heart is a door. And once you got the keys from hell, once you fought your demons, once you survived hell, that's what you were surviving. Thank you, mother. That's, that's where you pay your karmic debts. That's where you're fighting your demons. Yeah. In your root, in your sacral, and in your solar plexus. That's considered hell. You know what I'm saying? 
those things, you know, your root, you know, you're fighting things from the root, you know, your sexual desires and your, your, your creative energy, your, your food, your diet, your, your, how, it's like everything at the top got to be taken care of first at the bottom. So you get the keys from the bottom and the keys unlocks the heart and then you move on up. It's something about you got the keys from hell. You open the heart, you elevate it, and you close that door. I'm going somewhere, G3. Just watch. You closed the door. Once you got the keys and you unlocked the heart and you went through the portal of the heart, you were freed. You were you were freed from the chains that hell that that hell that held <laughs> that hell held you back that held you back in hell there we go <laughs> once you got the keys to the heart you released the chains that held you back in hell you were freed from that you survived hell now you're in another chapter of your life now you're in this chapter freedom freedom to move freedom to do freedom to love freedom to enjoy just freedom just free free you, you, you have you have been free to do you here but the beautiful thing about it is is what I what I'm getting to here is the door that's closed somebody keeps on trying to push past the door that you have already closed and locked to hell, to the things that you have survived, to the things that you have grown from, to the things that you have, you know, uh, uh, healed from. You've, in the people, in the places, you closed the door and locked it. The door to the heart, you closed and locked it. So it's something, it's somebody that is from your past or something, or somebody that's just in this devilish energy. They keep trying to get out of hell and, and, and enter into your, like, they want to enter, in, in, enter into the door. They want to bust the door open. But you see, your heart is healed and it is guarded, which means that your vessel is guarded. It's something about your heart being guarded in 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 being in being at your heart is guarded your vessel is guarded so this is the strategy here somebody's doing something every moon cycle okay not every moon cycle i'm sorry every full moon but they start during the first quarter moon okay somebody here is strategically trying to destroy your freedom or it's something that you do because somebody could do something that's freeing. Somebody could do something that they feel like, oh, it, it just frees them. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking up on a musician or, you know, like when you playing the, the keys and you're just in that in a whole nother zone and in, in, in a whole nother realm. It's like something makes you do something that makes you feel alive and free. Somebody is trying to strate strategically stop this or destroy this or have control over something and they're using the moon cycles to help them right but the universe is on your side and it's something about you are always in harmony with the universe here as well so you're very connected to the divine you're very connected to mother and father it's something about you keep getting some type of downloads about whoever this is that keep trying to do something to you it is no secret you know who is who who this is it's no secret it's somebody from the underworld that wants to come up that wants to be in your position that can't stand your freedom this is somebody from the uh, this is somebody that is mad that you are fr that you have been freed from hell this is somebody that is that is mad that you have that you are no longer in survival mode 
something that you're doing is you're no longer doing it to survive. You're, you're doing something because you love to do it. It's something this, this I'm telling you, it's just freedom and happiness and joy that really got some that's grinding somebody gears here. OK, this God of the underworld. But this person is about to be completely removed from your energy. OK, somebody is about to be completely removed from your energy because they don't understand that you are not going back. They don't understand that. Somebody don't they don't understand your freedom. They don't understand. This is so. So somebody somebody wants to. Figure out how you freed yourself. But they want to entrap you too. So somebody's, um, it's like they, they are amazed at your freedom. But okay, now, no, no, that's not how it goes. Okay, you're free, but here, take these chains. It's like somebody wants to put chains on you. Somebody wants you locked up. And the thing about it is, it's going to get them locked up. So somebody, okay, that's what it is. Somebody's about to get locked up here. Somebody's about to be really out of your energy, out of your hair. You know what I'm saying? Out of your hair? Yeah, somebody's about to be out of your hair. Because a new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. Somebody is, they keep trying to put fear in your path. They keep trying to get you to be afraid of the unknown. They keep trying to push this energy on you. Fear, 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 fear. And that's because they don't want you to be free. When you are fearless, you, you have entered another level of freedom. Somebody wants you to be afraid of freedom. They want, so, some, so somebody keeps attacking you every moon cycle and, and they want you to feel like, oh, it's because you're free. So let me go, let me go and, and chain myself to them or to something. Somebody wants you to be chained because they are bound and chained. So they're attacking your freedom. They're attacking your joy. They're attacking the things that make you feel alive. They're attacking your gifts. They're attacking your talents. They're attacking your love. They're attacking a closed door. Thank you, mother. <laughs> Somebody here is attacking a closed door. Because, see, a new chapter of your life is around the corner. And the universe will be damned if they allow somebody from the underworld to destroy your relationship or your contract with heaven. Hell will not destroy your contract with heaven. <laughs> no, they won't. This doesn't have to also, this doesn't have to just be a man here. This can be, they said this could, this could be a woman in, in, in masculine energy, okay? But these people or whoever this is, they don't serve you. Y'all are not... Y'all are not on the same path in life. Your path is leading you towards Nirvana. <laughs> it's leading you towards like full joy. Full, the full spectrum is what I'm hearing. There's something about, yeah, your path is about the full spectrum. Okay. Somebody else's Whoever this is in this other world, their path is a track. Y'all know how, y'all know what the tracks look like. You running in a circle. Their path is a track. Your path is, is the full spectrum. I don't know. That's what I heard, the full, the full spectrum. They want you to embrace the unknown. They want you to continue to, you know, live your life and keep the door closed to whoever this is from your past, okay? Or whoever this is that's in some type of dark energy that don't like your freedom. I'm telling you, somebody's strategically trying to get you chained up. Let's get deep into this energy. They will not be successful because the door is closed. In order to, it's like somebody is trying to find a way to break in. They're trying to do, they're going to jail. 
whoever this is is going to jail physical jail or spiritual jail okay somebody's heading to jail while you're heading towards a new chapter of your life please do not be afraid somebody is trying to project you see these eyes somebody is projecting a lot of negative energy towards you with their eyes right now it's something about the hamster hand of evil eye protection so you you have protection against this evil eye Yeah, it's something about some, you see, look at, look at the eyes and look at this, the heart. Look how this is shining in the eye. I feel like somebody is trying to, they're trying to attack, like, it's like the, mm, what is this? When they're trying to break into something, it's like, mm, and it's like the sparks and something. It's like somebody is trying to break through the boundary. And they do something every moon cycle, or I mean, every full moon, and they start during the first quarter moon. They're trying to weaken you somehow, some way. They feel like if they can weaken you, they can get you to, to take some type of chains. They can get you to fear. Yeah. Some, they can get you to fear doing something or doing you or moving forward or, you know, just doing what sets you free. Somebody wants to weaken you so you can fear this. So they're trying to weaken the boundary, weaken the door so they can, something can get in. Somebody's just trying to get in. They're trying to get in where they can fit in any way. They're trying to get into your energy. But it's something about, look, I, it's your vision here. Somebody doesn't like your vision. It's something about you, see, you being free, it shows. So now other people want to experience freedom too. So this is what it is. You are the poster child. Is that what it's called? The face for freedom. G3, it's something about you are the face for freedom. <laughs> yeah, you are the face for freedom here. So somebody's like, no, we got to stop this freedom train. These freedom fighters, these freedom writers, the freedom train. It's just like somebody got to stop this. Because then it's a bunch of people that's going to be like, well, I want to get on the freedom train. I don't want to have chains. I want to get on the freedom train. Yeah, something about you are showing people how to be free or that just being free is, is a beautiful thing. It's healing. It's a part of the journey. You're showing people how, what freedom looks like. Because for a long time, people thought that they were free, but they were in chains. Hell had people bound, giving them illusions of heaven. Hell had a lot of people bound. Whoever this was had a lot of people bound, giving them illusions of heaven. And that's what a lot of people have been going through with, who, with whoever this is or just in general here. But it's something about you showing people what freedom looks like. And how once people understand, like, because I feel like when people see it, it's like they, they bloom. It's something about your energy that is very powerful. You are an earth angel here, angel of the universe. You are an angel of the universe. You help people expand, expand their, their, their thinking. You encourage people to expand their thinking. So they can experience new life or freedom. And once they do that, that's what that's exactly what they experience. And this is why somebody is mad. The devil is mad. The devil is mad. Because you you taking people from hell. You bringing people to heaven. I used to say that when I first started, when I first woke up, like, I'm gonna take as many people to heaven with me as possible. I am, you know, if you want to go.
it. <laughs> but somebody doesn't like that. Somebody don't, okay, okay, you freed yourself. Now go sit down somewhere and be free. No, you, it's something about you freeing yourself and you flaunting your freedom. You flaunting your freedom here. <laughs> People are like, what is that, freedom? Oh, that's freedom? Hold on, I think I want, I think I want freedom. Yeah, I don't know about these. I think I want freedom. <laughs> I don't know about these chains now. <laughs> they look like the chains on their on they feet. I don't know about these chains. I think I want to, because they look, they skin glowing, they happy. They stress free. They getting blessings. They abundant. Oh my goodness. That's freedom? So what is this? Yeah, you showing people. You showing people. If somebody can't take it, boy, they, they can't take it. You showing people how to rise, how to turn their back to the underworld and rise like the phoenix out of the fire. This is what you do. Okay, you the face of freedom. Okay? <laughs> and somebody can't take it I'm telling you but they strategically trying to do something that's going to get their, their asses locked up I thought I was on um on uh, 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 IG There's no personal IG alright alright so now caught myself but this is YouTube yeah somebody gonna get their ass locked up okay <laughs> well, let's see let's get deep into this energy here what's going on What's going on with this individual here? Theater. Somebody here is a liar. Somebody here is telling a lot of stories. Okay? Somebody's putting on a show for people. But they're going through a lot. So whoever, so like I, somebody, somebody did something, they, they did something this month too. Because somebody wants something to hit you by the full moon. So they start during the first quarter moon. But somebody is now feeling the effects of their magic because something is being reflected back to them or it's being sent right back to them. So you see how the light is coming this way and the light is going, it's like this light is stronger and brighter than this one. See, people be thinking that they real powerful in this devilish, dark, demonic energy. They be thinking that they real, yeah, I'm a monster. Yeah, they be thinking that they real powerful in this energy. But look at the look at look at their light. It's so dim. Look at these look at these rays. Dim. Look at this. This is this is what love looks like. And this is what hate looks like. Dim. Lifeless. Okay, somebody here is lifeless, dim, no energy. And they try and some and something, yeah. Something is hitting them, hitting them, like returning back to them. So somebody's hitting, trying to hit you with something evil, and you keep you hitting them back with love, with something loving, with the divine. I feel like it's something like, who gonna win? Who gonna win? Who, like somebody in this devilish, dark, nasty energy that, that have ill intentions, that's trying to ruin you, that's trying to destroy you. You think that's gonna win when you walk around in righteous energy, holy um, um, and acceptable? You holy and acceptable in the eyesight of mother and father? You think that they're going to allow some devil, some demon who can't find their way out of the chains from, from hell to, to, to win against you? Make it make sense. These people don't make enough sense for me when they're in this devilish, dark, demonic energy. They don't make enough sense. And this is what happens. Somebody is looking real crazy. They're looking real crazy. People are, people are seeing this person for who they are. Oh, this person is a liar. They're a storyteller. They're putting on a show. Because somebody here can't get no sleep at night. Somebody can't get no sleep at night because of your liberation. Because you are free. And now, somebody is exhausted. Somebody's exhausted for, for, for trying for, for, for these attacks. Somebody has weakened themselves trying to weaken you. And it's something about a weak immune system is what I'm hearing. So somebody could have been trying to weaken your immune system. They could have been trying to get you sick. If you sick, you can't you can't clock in. If you sick, you can't work. If you sick, you can't you know do what do what makes you happy. You in bed, you you worn out. You drinking tea. You know what I'm saying? You 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 resting, getting your energy back. You can't do. You can't 
you know, somebody could could be in the spotlight. So you can't be in the spotlight if you're sick or you you know, somebody don't want you to show up to something. They don't want you to show up to to your job. They don't want you to show up to to you know do what you love to do. Somebody feels like that is why you're free. And if I can weaken you somehow, I can snatch everything away from you. So I'm gonna make you sick. So somebody tries to attack your immune system every moon cycle. I mean, I keep saying, so they're doing this because I said it three times. I be wanting to say the first quarter moon to the full, but it's, it's clearly every moon cycle. Somebody is attacked. So it probably started off with the full moon. Then it was like, okay, let's start during the first quarter moon. And then by the time the full moon did it. And then, so I feel like somebody just, epic. Let's, let's do the first quarter, the last quarter. Let's do this quarter. Let's do, let's do all the moons. <laughs> Let's do the wine and gibbets. Let's do all of them. <laughs> Somebody is doing, is attacking you under every moon cycle. But they are, have, they have exhausted themselves now. Because see, you are going into a new chapter of your life. The universe is not going to allow somebody who is, who are, who's mad that you're free. When all they, when, when, when they can focus on themselves and focus on the chains so they can free themselves. All they, that's all they got to do. But somebody is so worried about your freedom. And it's, and it's because somebody, they, they thrive off the chains. Somebody is a chain maker. Oh. <laughs> somebody, this is somebody telling you, they like, they want you to wear, they want, they want to give you chains. They, these are illusions of heaven. So it's like. Like, you know how, like, when you get a, 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 a record deal or something like that, you get signed to a label and they're giving you these chains and they're giving you this stuff or, you know, um, when you're a part of these societies and stuff, they give you chains so you're around. So, it, uh, somebody, somebody, and those chains are considered, when you walk, when you see these rappers and they walk around and, mm, 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 look at that chain as a, as, it's, it's, it's around their neck and it's blinging to you, but the reality of that chain is that it's, it doesn't have those all of that bling on it. It's on their uh, ankles and it's attached to a whole bunch of niggas that can't go nowhere. <laughs> that's in the, the, and that's in a, some type of building here. It's an illusion. So we be like, oh, we want to do that. We want them chains too. We want to do it too. And then you sign up for things. And they take your freedom. So this is somebody who don't understand. Why don't you want the chains? Look at all of these. I bedazzled the chains. Why? Why do you want to be free? Why do you? You ain't look at look at them. They ain't even got no necklace. They ain't even got no chain on. <laughs> Somebody's trying to make fun of your freedom. Make it make sense. Because they got money, they got chains, they blinged out, but they can't move. They they stuck. They stagnant. They can't get no sleep. Ah, 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 ah. They not happy. But they want, they trying to get people to laugh at the freedom, the freedom fight. G3, you the freedom fight. G3, you give it, you're the face of freedom. Somebody's trying to get people to laugh at the face of freedom. But these are people that are in chains. This is why somebody can't weaken you. You know too much. You're too smart to fall in line with some, with hell. You're too smart to stay connected or, or chained down in hell. You're too smart for these niggas. You're too smart for somebody here. And you're too connected. You keep outsmarting somebody. Somebody keep trying to strategically find a way to get in. They're attacking your immune system. They're pushing fear on you. They're trying to do all of these things. Something got to work is what I'm hearing. But the only thing that's going to work. Is. The plane. That you're, that you're about to go on. Or to take flight. I don't. You know what I'm saying. The only thing that's going to work is the. The new chapter of your life, like it's, you embracing the unknown. I don't, I don't know why this person thinks that whatever they're doing is going to work. They can't work. It's not going to work because it's a lie. Somebody's putting on a show. Somebody put on a show 
to make something look good, but they're a liar and you know it. You broke free from a liar here. And this liar is exhausted. It's, they, they're under a lot of stress, okay? People are seeing them. That's why they, they're stressed out. They can't sleep because people are seeing them for who they are. Betrayal, yeah. They seeing them for for somebody who is a, who is a, 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 a narcissist or somebody who is deceitful, jungle, somebody who is toxic. Some, whoever, whoever this is, they're being seen. It could be three individuals here. 35 could be significant. Somebody could be 58, 35, 50, 55, I'm, I'm seeing. Somebody could be born in 85, 28. Somebody was born in 82. But May, oh, May 5, this is this month. So this month, somebody tried to betray you. Somebody tried, somebody is trying, somebody is being exposed this month for their betrayal for their deceit, for their toxic behavior. I feel like somebody is being exposed for the demon that they are. Somebody has been walking around acting like an angel or, or just having people under illusions that they're an angel. But they are really about to be exposed for who, who they are. And I know we just saw Diddy get exposed for whatever he did, you know, his his drama and stuff like that. And, and my goodness, Cassie, my, my heart goes out to you, sending you healing energy because sis, me too. We made it, okay? But um, so if, if somebody is about to be exposed like that, and the thing about it was CNN did that. So the FBI, is about to expose some somebody here. Somebody thought that it was a joke. I don't know. Somebody thought that something was a joke here. I'll be fresh if the feds watching. Somebody, somebody knew that they had the feds watching them, but they were still acting a fool. Somebody in your energy attacking you every moon cycle, acting a fool, okay? Doing other things too. They, this person had the feds on them the whole time. Somebody's being exposed from the higher ups. So whoever this demon is has people in higher positions. They have people over them. That's why they are, they are so upset. Because I feel like they want to be seen as something, but you're a follower. You're following some some type of guidelines. I, you know, somebody here is, is following something. It's, a, it's like, and they want you to follow it too. And it's like, no, you have the right to choose where you want to go. Oh, well, if you don't want to do that, I'm going to force you to. And I'm going to attack you every moon cycle. But this person was betrayed by three people. That's what's about to be exposed. Something what this person had been ex betrayed by three individuals. Somebody so focused on you. They had three informants right up under them and didn't know it. Mm. Somebody was trying to find a way to infiltrate what you have going on here. They could have hired three people or tried to get three people to come into your energy or try to find out some type of information. Somebody was trying to send energies to you and these same energies, these same people that they use to try to attack you or destroy you these same individuals are the ones that's are that's about to uh, uh betray this person because they was putting on a show the whole time 
So somebody, it's like these, somebody got people to attack you, a group of people, or somebody, they pay somebody to get some type of magic done to you every moon cycle. And the thing about it is, risk, uncharted territory, authenticity. Somebody took a mate. It's like these people were risking their territory or something. So it's something about their territory decrease. Something decreased for these three individuals that that work with somebody to attack you because you're free. Something decreased with them. Their territory decreased. They could have lost a job, lost a house, lost money, lost their mind. They lost something. They took some L's here. They could have they could, took some L's. And they had to get down to the bottom of the situation. Somebody had to. These people found out that this person, whoever this was in this underworld, whoever this was that is so upset at your freedom, strategically trying to uh, uh, push fear on you, strategically trying to annoy you. This is somebody who is very annoying. It's like they are, they keep trying to push past the boundary. They keep trying to open a door that is closed to them. The thing, so this these people did some digging, some research. They found out this person was a liar. This person was a storyteller. They was full of drama. And they was put on the show. So these people, they took major L's because of a liar here. But that's what the devil is. Right? That's what they say. <laughs> they say a liar. So, uh, yeah, that's what the devil going to do. So this, so these three individuals believe the lie. And they, and they have, they feel betrayed. They feel so betrayed by this individual. They feel that whoever these three individuals that work with this person, they trusted this individual. They believed him, her. They believed. They thought that they were somebody that they could, you know, have faith in or they were they were a stand up guy or girl they were they were righteous this this was a good man this is a good woman that's a that's a good man <laughs> that's a good man <laughs> okay somebody thought that oh like this is this is you know that because that's how that's how somebody put, put, put um positions themselves or portrays themselves like something upright like they're in the upright but they are they're absolutely not they have a demonic evil dark side to them and when they can't get their way that's when it exposes itself that's when it rises up that's when you activate the demon in them so this these people They've been attacking people with whoever this was for years is what I'm hearing. They've been working with whoever this individual was for years. This person pays them a lot. This person keeps them happy, keeps them paid. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just keep doing this work for me. I'm going to keep you paid. They've been like, okay, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Come to find out. Somebody been lying. But something didn't really, the decreasing of their territory really didn't show until they did something to you or until they started uh, uh, attacking you every moon cycle. Something was weird anyway. Somebody thought that something was weird anyway. Why are we doing it? We're going to do it every moon cycle. Like that's, whatever. All right. Um, that's going to be an extra so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. Somebody already knew that. Something like, something like why are we doing it? I don't got to do this every moon cycle. I, like, that's not... All right, whatever. So somebody... It's like somebody was just taking the money, doing what somebody was telling them to do. But then the truth came out because these people started to lose a lot. They started to lose a lot.
they lost stability. They started to realize the chains here. Oh. They started to realize that they were under some type of, they could have been under some type of spell or they were bound to something. It's like, that's, they're like, wait, it's like, hold on. So it's like somebody is, these three people saw something or started to think something or whatever, but they are betraying whoever this is. They go into the feds or they are some type of informants for the feds. So this person, so this person, because I feel like somebody has, they was getting real dark with something. How can I make them break their neck? I want to take out the whole family. I want to take out people that are very close to him or her. It's like somebody got real dark. She's like, somebody got real, and it's like these people was like, okay, you know, oh, we attacking people business. Okay, we attack their business. Ah, uh -huh, funny. Oh, we attack, you know, oh, we attack their health. Uh, make them, make them sick. Ah, uh -huh, so they can slow down. But somebody was like, oh, let's kill the, the, the let's kill the animals and their children and, and everything that, that they love and just take their home away from them. I want them out on the street. I want them to lose everything. I want them to be begging for life. These people are like... <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> we ain't never see this. This side of you. You ain't never show us this side. You want people to, that's what you, that's how you feel about people? That's what you be thinking? Tell you, somebody got too dark for the people that they was being dark with. <laughs> somebody, somebody mask really came off. It's like somebody, it's like these people thought that, you know, somebody's darkness was a, a joke. <laughs> oh, they making fun of somebody. Oh, they pointing fingers at them. Oh, they calling out. Oh, they, oh, it was a joke. <laughs> I'm joking, everybody. It's a, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, it's a, it's a balance. You gotta be balanced, okay? So everybody's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's a balance. Ah, uh, okay. But now somebody, he, got, he or she, one of them, they got or they, however it goes. This person got real crazy. <laughs> These people was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I was with you. I was with you a few, but I'm not. I'm not with you on this. This is what I'm not with you on. 911? Yeah. You ever heard of witches and warlocks? Because I feel like I got the, I got one heal. Okay, because somebody, listen, I do spiritual work. And you know, it is what it is. I'm not too proud about everything that I've done. But you know, I'm here. Okay. And um, somebody had me try, working on somebody. And it's like, okay, we're working on. But now this person's planning his. They want to kill this person. Okay, so I don't know if y'all need to, uh, you know, take keep an eye on so and so, or you know, all right. Um, this is anonymous. Remember that. Okay, bye. <laughs> Somebody got betrayed by the people that they was by by the, by the people that they were working with to attack you, or they were paying. They were paying these people, and they got betrayed by the same people. Yeah. Hell, hell, line of Judah. Yeah, somebody keep trying. They, your ancestors don't play that, boy. 55, 5, 5, 5. 55 here. 5, 5, 5. Changes. Big changes. There's big changes in somebody's life. Look at this. Look at your ancestor. Your ancestor is mod. Your ancestor is mod. Look at this. Somebody's like, oh, okay. I feel like somebody, you have ancestors in the underworld. Yeah, you got ancestors in the underworld that love you, okay? That, uh, that's, yeah, that's cloaking you, that's covering you, that, that's like trying, that's protecting you. So you have hidden helpers, hidden protectors. Yeah, you have hidden protectors here. I feel like your ancestors are very present in your energy right now. 44 could be um, significant. Um, eight. Yeah, this year. Something about this year is very significant. Because somebody, I feel like it's a, it's a feminine energy. 
yeah, you could be a feminine energy. Keep, keep yourself guarded and protected here, okay? Because somebody is doesn't know how to process something. Whoever this is, it's like. I'm hearing, uh, let's see, because something about the table. I don't know, if somebody's, they're having a meeting? Somebody's having a meeting here, okay? Somebody's having a meeting with a, with, ooh. Somebody could be trying, they're trying something else here. And this is why some, somebody's about to get locked up. Because somebody is trying something else here. Let's, have, let's get what the tarot is talking about. You have very powerful ancestors or protectors that are around you. Your blood is powerful. And I feel like somebody keeps trying. It's like somebody's trying to destroy you, but the what you're attached to, but what your blood. It's like somebody wants to take you out of here before your, your death date. Or somebody wants you to, somebody wants to have that power over it's like what is this i don't like this energy this is weird here somebody is still trying to find a way in your energy is what i'm picking up on so it's something about they could be using a feminine energy they want it's like okay let me get deep into this energy look strategy that is the word that's the word for today strategy table secret room hold on here tell me about this theater because i feel like somebody is i don't know if this is the informant the, the, somebody oh the informant was at the table it's a female somebody got the feds right They've been, they've been doing all this crazy stuff to you, plotting and planning, paying for magic, scamming, frauding people, doing all of this stuff with an informant, with a fed informant right next to them. <laughs> look at them. Look at them. Cloaked. Look at them. It's a female energy. It's a female energy that have that's cloaking, that's cloaking themselves. Your ancestors has teamed up with somebody, with, with somebody in, and if this is not the feds, it's like your ancestors got somebody, cause somebody kept trying to infiltrate what you got going on and your ancestors got somebody in their camp. So every time they do something, they already, that's why you, you 10 steps ahead of something because somebody, your ancestors got an informant around whoever this is that's doing magic on you. Whoever this is that's attacking you every moon cycle. Ah, 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 ah. Look, five, five of cups. Somebody's about to be real depressed and sad here. So I don't know what this, somebody's about to be really upset and sad because they are about, they're being betrayed. Oh my goodness, somebody been walking around like they have feelings for a long time. Walking around real vicious, mean and nasty and, and devilish to people. But let me tell you how them, how, to, how it's about to change up. Let me tell you how somebody somebody had, who did not have feelings is about to feel it all. Those who cannot learn will feel. Huh? Oh my, my, my. That's what I heard. Those who cannot learn will feel. And this is somebody who just, oh, they didn't care about feeling. They didn't care about what they was doing. Or how they was attacking you. Somebody got real like evil here. They could have even been trying to put a hit, put a hit out and everything. Your ancestor said, "Oh yeah, watch this." Whoever they got in there, they they could have told the feds. Somebody think that they they doing something in a secret room. They sitting at a table in a secret room. They think that they doing something undercover. They look look the air right there. Sovereignty. Ah ah ah. Gossip, the sovereign, the sovereign God is listening to the gossip. <laughs> they plotting and planning and the sovereign God is right there in the secret room. Why is the room so secret and the divine beings know exactly what's going on in the secret rooms? Because the secret room ain't a secret. And what you plotting and planning and they're on the chosen one or on my G3 family is not a secret, baby. It's out and about, and the world is about to see it. 
Ain't no hush money. You can't pay nobody to be quiet. You can't pay all the feds. Somebody, oh, they think they got money, but you can't pay all the feds. <laughs> you can't pay all the cops. You can't, tr you can't, you know, you can't pay off all the judges, all the prosecutors. You can't pay off everybody, right? <laughs> Somebody thought that they was the only ones that knew how to be strategic. When the only reason that they know how to be strategic is because the divine is strategic. <laughs> and we are made in his and her image. <laughs> Somebody think that they, they so smart and they so strategic, but who do you think that you learned how to be strategic from? Somebody try, they keep losing at their own game because it's not a game that they created. It's not a game that they made up. That's why they keep losing. <laughs> That's why these people, and I feel like this is the biggest one right here because somebody about to take a big L. They've been taking some L's because they've been attacking you. So they've been taking a lot of L's. They can't, they can't sleep every night. They get they drink they dreams of nightmares every night. They can't sleep. They've been taking major L's. Um, um, they've been taking little L's. I'm not even gonna say little L's. They've been taking you know regular L's. You know regular size L's. But the L that somebody's about to take I, in this coming week, my my my. Ooh, if I was them, nah, that final def that final destination seat ain't gonna help you either. Remember, in final destination, they was trying to escape death. He padded up in, in a room. Scared to do everything? <laughs> I feel like that's about to be somebody all week. Uh-huh. But remember, strategy. <laughs> Why do you want to play with God? They play, every time they play with you, they play with God. Who wants to sit across from mother and father and play with them? They know the game is theirs. It's their game. <laughs> Why do you think? Somebody's not trying to learn from, from mother and father. They're over there trying to destroy them and beat them. <laughs> Imagine, these little puny humans. <laughs> puny. <laughs> you sit down, sit down with your puny behinds. Somebody's trying. I'm going to beat you, mother and father. I'm going to beat you. I'm stronger here. I'm going to win. You have the, the universe on your side. The universe, this, the universe, mother and father, your ancestors, everything divine and righteous and holy. Okay, the birds, the bugs, the bees, the fish, and all, and, and every sea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they want you, they want you to enjoy this new chapter in your life. You deserve it. You got the keys. I got the keys. I got the key. When you got the keys, <laughs> it's like when you get in the house, right? When you when you go and you get the keys. It's your house now, right? Now you're like, ah, that's my house. And you're over there like, uh, uh, it's official. It's official. It's official. You got your house. What? They over there trying to plant stuff in front of the house, break into the house. You just got this, this house. And somebody, they trying to already mess up your house and destroy. They don't want you to be peaceful in this house that you got that they don't have nothing to do with. So somebody could just recently bought a house. And somebody here didn't help you. They don't got no say what, 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 what. They don't got no say with what, okay now, they don't got no say with what goes on in your house. <laughs> they don't got no say and it's bothering them. So because it's your house and they don't got no say in your house, now they breaking things. Oh my bad. Oh my goodness. I remember those. Somebody, I'm telling you. They people, that, so you live, somebody is, somebody is break, something keep breaking in your house because whoever this is keep breaking it. Because they mad that it's your house and it's not their house. They don't got nothing to do with that house. And if they would have had some money, then maybe. But somebody here is a moocha and a freelo. This is what I'm picking up on here. That want to have that sense of control. They can't get out of your house because if they get out of your house, they got to go back to mommy house. So they're going to be in your house, but they want you to, they want to destroy what's in your house because this person can't even destroy, they can't even enjoy the good things 
that, that the universe and God brings to them, the blessings. Because it's a blessing that you're allowing somebody to be in your house. It's a blessing. Mm. What you gonna do? Hmm. Cause the one that was in my house breaking us, they out of here. Stress free, baby. So what you gonna do, G3? Hmm? <laughs> do not have nobody in your house breaking us on purpose cause they mad at you. Somebody could, yeah, I feel like this is like a roommate thing going on. Picking up on a roommate situation. They could want somebody out. Be mindful who you're living with and stuff like that too. Somebody is under judgment for a two of cups for lying about a relationship. Somebody's been lying to the public about a relationship. They've been lying to people about a relationship. They've been telling people that they are they are married or something like that, and they're not. Or they've been telling people that they they um, aren't married and they are. Somebody is lying about a two of cups relationship here, okay? And they're under judgment for lying about it. Or Or somebody in, in a relationship. So both, so somebody, whoever this is, it's, it's both, it's two. It's a couple here. It's a couple under judgment for putting on the show. Okay. Because of, because of their anger. People are angry. I feel like it's a lot of people in the underworld that are just angry at your freedom. It's a couple here. Yeah, they, they, but somebody was, they was trying to betray you for money. So some, whoever this was that was, telling people to do something to you these individuals they were promised money here they were promised something and this is why they went to the feds or they're going to the feds or they're revealing something because somebody did not come through with their promise they said if we attack because i feel like somebody been, probably been attacking your money here Attacking your, attacking your spiritual inheritance. They're attacking the spiritual inheritance because they, they are under some type of illusion that if they attack your money, that they can have it. But don't they, they don't see that that's not how energy works. This is what I'm saying. These people are just, what's happening here? But I feel like, you know, I guess when you, when you pay, when you, doing this stuff to the energy. I don't know what was on these people's minds, but they realized that whatever they was doing was very detrimental to everything they had going on in life. <laughs> because to attack your spiritual inheritance means that they, gotta, they got to attack. They're attacking the people that gave it to you or the energies that gave it to you. See, somebody wants to attack your inheritance. But they can't just attack the inheritance. Your inheritance is connected to ancestors. Some type of tribe of, of, of Judah or lions of Judah. L, L, lion of Judah. That's what I can hear. Or this person could be some type of, I'm hearing Hebrew Israelite or Moor or something like that. Or you could be a Moor or Hebrew. Listen, I don't, all I know is that your ancestors ain't going for whatever somebody is trying to do. Okay? Yeah, you could have, you could, yeah, I think you could have like a, you could be a moor or something like that. Or you can come from moors or something. I feel like you have, you come from a bloodline of moors or something is what I'm hearing. It's like, but, but, you know, because after a while they started, all right, all right, we, you know, because people be forgetting. But let's take all the way back to the beginning. To the beginning of it. something about the beginning. You are your ancestors. Something was something. You are the beginning of something here. So 
attacking you is really attacking something. It's, it's so much bigger than you. They're attacking uh, a century or century. It's like some type of organization that's been going on for thousands of years. And maybe something was laid dormant for a while or something like that. But now something is about to be rebirthed or reborn. And it's and this this freedom. You know what I'm saying? Something is about to but and, and now and somebody's attacking something before people can be free or something could really or you can really get some type of inheritance here. Somebody's trying they want to attack you before you truly receive everything that's yours. Okay? Battle. All I feel like you've been battling, battling, battling. And somebody, and like I said, this is you was battling because car, um, karmic debt, battling because you was in hell. But you are not in that energy no more. And this is why your ancestors are angry, because you were supposed to be enjoying your beautiful your home. You got the key. You should be enjoying your home, trying to figure out where you want to put your pictures, trying to figure out what you're gonna do, how you gonna do your grass, what, what you gonna, how you gonna paint the, the bathroom. You should be enjoying your home. Not constantly defending something because somebody here is upset and mad that, that you're free. Or upset and mad that they don't they can't they can't control you. Your ancestors are mad. So they, they called up their FBI buddies. Your ancestors called up your F the FBI buddies. Yeah, the, there's an FBI because of your bloodline is what I'm hearing. There's an FBI, there's a some, there's like these, a lot of things went to S is what I'm hearing. But the beginning of these things were, were not like that. Something was the, the beginning, like, yeah, I'm hearing the beginning of things was not like that. Remember? And, and even in the Bible, in the beginning, everything was good, right? It was good. And then something done happened. What the hell happened? Because now everybody is losing it. But it's something about there are things set up here that started from your bloodline. So all of these, so you got, you don't even know the people that's connected to you or that you have control over. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. <laughs> You have control and not even G3 because I don't feel like you're, you're, you're out here controlling people. You're free. But it's something about your voice. You, you have power over people in very high positions. And it's because of what you come from. This is what whoever this is don't understand. Puny little humans. But guess what? Somebody about to learn this week coming up. And that's the one. Okay, okay, that's the one. Cups here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Earth here, Taurus energy, Virgo energy, Capricorn energy, Fire sign. Let me, I'm, a, I'm up here for an hour. I'm just I'm telling you, your ancestors are going to protect you. Okay, your ancestors are going to protect the star. They said, no, 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 no. Who the heck is this puny little human? <laughs> you got a puny little human that's running on a track in, um, in hell that is mad. That got a bunch of people on a track with him. And one is you there. Imagine that. A co-creator. Trapped in hell. With the devil. <laughs> Imagine that. A star trapped in hell. <laughs> your ancestors will not allow it. Okay? Your ancestors will not allow it. Allow it. These people, you will be resting. By they, Cause this is you will be resting. You will rest. And they will be under attack. Every day. See, the thing about it is that's what that's what these that's what these puny little humans get. They want to attack you every moon cycle. Because they got to work with the energy. But see, when you control the energy, you, you, they can attack you every day. <laughs> Somebody get attacked every day by, the, by your ancestors. Because they wanted to attack you every moon cycle. Well, now every day, somebody about to get attacked. And I feel like this week, something's about to go down. And it's with some type of 
because they betrayed somebody betrayed them or something like that yeah it's over look at the world in reverse it is over somebody can't pay their way out of this one they already juggled the money they already lost money whoever this is they already lost a lot of money trying to put chains back on you ah, 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 ah. they already they broke and it's a feminine here that wants money and if you don't give me money i'm going to the cops this is what i'm hearing somebody said if you don't pay me and they can't because they don't got the money and they're not taking no ious because somebody i'm telling you somebody is upset because they lost a lot. They dealt with somebody and they lost a lot. And somebody is saying like, listen, the way, the reason I lost my job, the reason I'm in this position is because I was working with you, with your lying ass. Because I was following your lying behind. Your evil demonic behind. Imagine that. Somebody in hell is calling them a demon. Hey, listen. Because somebody here is like, all right, you know. I, be, I know that there's a balance, but this right here, now, this is too much. But anyway, somebody lost a lot. This person is upset. And they take accountability for what they did. But now, they, they are blackmailing whoever this is. Somebody's getting blackmailed. Yeah. Somebody gonna have to start selling that selling that, that thing. Because that's what I'm picking up. Somebody thinking about selling that thing. Somebody got an OnlyFans. Don't get that. Don't let that OnlyFans sell. <laughs> They better stop it. Somebody got an OnlyFans. But you know what? This man, because I pick it up on a man with an OnlyFans. But they're doing this OnlyFans thing so they can pay whoever this is. Because somebody's like, listen, I want my money. And if I don't have my money, this is what I used to make before I started effing with you. Or before I did whatever you told me to do to that girl or that boy. Okay? This is what I was making. Now... And and, 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 and and it better stay that way, too. Ooh, somebody getting blackmailed for coming for you. Your answers is doing them dirty. Because the thing about it is, they probably paid the first month or the second month, but it's this month, five, 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 it's a lot of changes this month. They don't have it this month. But somebody got to survive. They got to eat. They got kids. And you ruined their life. Trying to ruin somebody else's. And now you will pay. So this person's like, okay. They going to the they going to the cops. They going, they going to some somebody's going to expose something here. Because somebody's money ran out. And that's all the universe is waiting for. It's called strategy. <laughs> Love you, G3. Aquarius energy here. What is this? Um, what else did I see? Yeah, air sign, swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all the signs here, basically. Yeah. Strategy, G3. If you got anything from this message, you want to leave a donation. All of my information is down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was a long one today. But you know what? It's making up for last week, right? <laughs> I love you guys. And until next time.